This briefing outlines the function of ceremonial units, commonly called honor guards, in the U.S. military and other organizations presented by Operation Honor Guard and the Drill Master. While images show certain organizations, this briefing is not endorsed by the Department of Defense, any military branch, or other organization. We will look at the definition of Honor Guard, the origin of the Honor Guard, military, first responder, fraternal, and cadet Honor Guards, the three ceremonial elements, color guard, pallbearers, also called body bearers or casket bearers, and firing party, and also specialized ceremonial elements. A guard of honor or honor guard is a ceremonial unit. A ceremonial guardsman is a member of an honor guard. Ceremonial guardsmen typically go through six weeks of intensive training, including standing still for ceremonies that last anywhere from 30 to 60 and even 90 minutes. Historians trace the first honor guard back to the Roman Praetorian Guard. This elite unit of the Imperial Roman Army was charged with protection of the Emperor and members of the Senate, and even performed law enforcement duties in Rome. Shown in the background, the U.S. Air Force Honor Guard badge reflects this origin with the Praetorian Guard helmet in its design. The 3rd U.S. Infantry, stationed at Joint Base Meyer-Henderson Hall in Virginia, and traditionally known as the Old Guard, is the oldest active duty infantry unit in the Army, serving our nation since 1784. Since World War II, the Old Guard has served as the official Army Honor Guard and escort to the President. In that capacity, 3rd Infantry soldiers are responsible for conducting military ceremonies at the White House, Pentagon, National Memorials, and elsewhere in the nation's capital. Pictured here clockwise from top left are a body bearer team at Arlington National Cemetery, members of the Quezon Platoon, the Presidential Salute Battery, and guards at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. Pictured here are the Continental Color Guard, Commander-in-Chief's Guard, and the U.S. Army Drill Team, just a few of the specialty platoons of the regiment. Army Active Duty, National Guard, and Reserve installations handle day-to-day -day ceremonial and military funeral honors support for each state, territory, and many locations overseas, including joint service honors and other local ceremonies. Some soldiers are afforded the opportunity to perform on specialized teams such as these cavalry color guards out of California, Colorado, Kansas, and Texas. While not specifically called the Marine Corps Honor Guard, the Marines of Marine Barracks, Washington, located at the corner of 8th and I Streets in Washington, D.C., provide ceremonial support for Arlington National Cemetery and other high-level ceremonies throughout the military district of Washington. Essentially, the barracks houses the ceremonial unit of the Marine Corps. Along with the ceremonial elements of the barracks, like the body bearers, Two of the specialty units at the barracks are the Silent Drill Platoon and the White House Guards who also work at Camp David. Ceremonial Companies A and B of Marine Barracks Washington include the Marine Corps Color Guard, shown here at bottom left, the Silent Drill Platoon, and the World Famous Body Bearers, shown here at bottom right. The top two photos are from a funeral at Arlington National Cemetery. On the left is a firing party, and the right shows a ceremonial escort platoon. Active duty and reserve marines take part in military funeral honors and other ceremonial activities in many states, territories, and locations overseas. The last mounted color guard in the Marine Corps is located at Marine Corps Logistics Base Barstow in Barstow, California. This specialized team travels to many events representing the Corps while presenting the colors. Here we see two photos of the mounted color guard and, at top right, Marines taking part in a repatriation ceremony in Tarawa, Kiribati, and bottom left, a firing party for a local memorial event in Japan. Established in 1931, the Navy Ceremonial Guard 
located on Joint Base Anacostia Bowling in Washington, D.C., provides ceremonial support for Arlington National Cemetery and other high-level ceremonies throughout the military district of Washington. The Guard serves as the funeral escort for Navy personnel buried at Arlington National Cemetery. Bravo and Charlie companies house the casket bearers, top left, firing party, top right, drill team, bottom left, and color guard, bottom right. At the center is a platoon at an indoor ceremony. Navy active duty and reserve installations across the country and on ships around the world have sailors who perform military funeral honors and other ceremonies. At top right is the color guard of the USS Constitution, a specialized unit operated by the Naval History and Heritage Command, Detachment Boston. The ship is an historic site run in cooperation with the National Park Service. The Air Force Honor Guard is located at Joint Base Anacostia Bowling and provides ceremonial support for Arlington National Cemetery and other high-level ceremonies throughout the military district of Washington. The Honor Guard renders military honors to Air Force personnel and their families during funeral services at Arlington National Cemetery, conducts military ceremonies at the White House, Pentagon, and National Memorials, and is the lead organization for training and standardization of the worldwide Air Force Base Honor Guard program. Active duty, reserve, and Air National Guard base honor guard airmen handle ceremonial duties and military funeral honors in many states, territories, and locations overseas. The Space Force, under the Department of the Air Force, does not currently have a ceremonial unit. The U.S. Air Force Honor Guard fills positions for the Space Force on Joint Service Color Guard missions. There are no other ceremonial requirements for the Space Force as of 2020. The Coast Guard Ceremonial Honor Guard is located at the Telecommunications and Information Systems Command in Alexandria, Virginia providing ceremonial support for Arlington National Cemetery and other high-level ceremonies throughout the Military District of Washington. The Ceremonial Honor Guard also supports funeral honors for the Coast Guard, sending funeral teams throughout the United States as needed. With the smallest number of personnel, all Coast Guard Ceremonial Guardsmen must certify in at least two of the ceremonial elements to support functions numbering in excess of 1,600 annually. Before the Coast Guard implemented the Ceremonial Honor Guard in 1962, cadets from the Coast Guard Recruit Training Center in Cape May, New Jersey would be bused into D.C. for special events. Cadets from the Coast Guard Academy, located in New London, Connecticut, are currently bused in for the presidential inauguration support. Coast Guard active duty and reserve installations across the country also have Coast Guardsmen who perform local ceremonies. The Coast Guard Auxiliary, now in charge of the Sea Scouts, is not authorized in Honor Guard presence. Law enforcement, firefighter, and emergency medical service honor guards are in many departments across the United States. These teams conduct funerals for fellow first responders and support local color guard requests. Increasingly, first responder honor guards are achieving certification as United States Certified Ceremonial Guardsmen. Veteran service organizations can be heavily involved with rendering honors in many areas across the country, either on their own, in tandem with local military teams, or integrated with those teams under the Authorized Provider Partnership Program. Historic reenactors, Mountain Rescue, Park Service Rangers, the Knights of Columbus, Kentish Guards, and Sons of the American Revolution are a few of the numerous honor guards outside of the U.S. military. The United States is unique in the world. We have many different cadet and explorer programs. You can see cadets from each military service and first responder cadets and explorers presenting the colors at events almost daily across the country. The U.S. Air Force Auxiliary Civil Air Patrol has a decentralized cadet honor guard training program. In the end, we all have one chance to make that first impression. Our mission is about honor and respect.